All right, what's up, people? It's your belief, and today we're gonna be doing a VOD review. I am new to Apex, and I'm trying to get better. And hopefully, these VOD reviews will help me become a better Apex player. And hopefully, you guys learn a little bit from me as well. But here we are landing, and we're playing with randoms. But we're landing in this spot on Storm Point. I have, I don't really know this map because I haven't played that much of this map at all. Uh, but we do know that there is one squad landing with us on our mini map. Uh, let me just go ahead and scoot forward a little bit here. I will be pausing in and out like throughout this whole video. But uh, so we were able to get some good loot. So we got a triple take and a car. Um, two things I want to talk about in this first clip is just like inventory management. Uh, I was having a lot of issues with like armor swapping and like not remembering to armor swap just because I came over from Warzone and that's like not a thing in Warzone. But in apex it's like one of the most crucial things you could do so here we're getting engaged on and we're playing against a rampart a octane and i believe a mirage uh so right here i'm just trying to get a nice angle and kind of pick at them uh one thing okay this is this sounds like so stupid but the one smallest thing is like map knowledge understanding you can shoot through certain objects so like these fences i'm sure you guys all know already that you could shoot through it but when i was first playing this map i had no idea you could shoot through this but i mean the more you fucking know i guess um so these guys are in this weird little corridor here and if you look at the mini map me and the horizon are next to each other and our bloodhound is actually across from us um so my idea here is to ju just like try to pick some damage on them since they're in this weird little corridor they don't have much room to actually like rotate around so they're kind of pinch on both sides not knowing that our other guys like over here so we're trying to do some damage here with our triple take uh we we're able to get a knock and right here our bloodhound as you can see is about to push up behind them so we could either play aggressive and try to push in and support him or we could continue trying to play for some cracks or something i in my head even if this bloodhound pushes i'm not going to make any movements aggressively until i get a knock or a crack because i mean he's totally on the open there's no cover from his position to over here so as you can see later on he's gonna get dropped like right away so that was a beautiful scan on our Bloodhound because now I know that all three of them are actually in this little corridor here. And we were able to get a crack there. I moved back. And then, like I said, he gets knocked immediately because he has no freaking cover. He should have just played behind these uh, boxes and try to continue poking until we get this down. But luckily, I was able to get it down. And if you look this top left corner, our horizon is pushing up. So now I know I have to play aggressive because one, we got the knock and so our bloodhound is also down and our horizon is pushing up forward so it's a 2v2 but we got him kind of in a good position and then here i was able to knock this or crack this octane too i believe no so, so for some reason the octane went to go up there's our bloodhound i don't know why he did that okay because this is a horrible position for himself as well because now he has no cover and right after this i'm gonna put myself in a bad position i'm actually gonna move forward in front of this rampart wall and i won't be able to shoot through this but she will be able to luckily she didn't shoot me so he got that there is i'm just trying to see right there i could have been in a really bad position if she shot me first but right here i'm trying to get a thirst so i can have an armor swap and she puts the wall there but then right here, as we're pushing this rampart, our horizon's inside the this little room already. But then I'm getting we're getting thirded. And I mean I don't have any comms for anyone, but at least for myself, I know we're getting thirded. So we need to finish this fight really quickly. Finish her. I was able to get a nice little armor swap and then I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And I swing this door and there's a freaking mirage here trying to get through the door too i'm assuming but there's that rampart thing there but as soon as i see this i'm like uh i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna spend the time trying to shoot this because i'm giving him the opportunity to shoot me back so i just like squeeze right back into this door and was able to do 50 damage on him which is not bad um and in this position right here right so 
we, there's only two entries and um that rampart wall is blocking that right door and a horizon on this left door what i was going to do was trying to like jump this way get onto this little beam here but i decided not to do that because i am new to apex and my movement is trash so if i did go for that jump one i might not have much cover as soon as i peek and two if i miss that jump then a horizon's screwed so i just decided to go back and try to support our horizon here and use this rampart wall to our advantage so i'm trying to hold this angle to see if i can get any cracks was we'll able to get crack on the octane down him so now it's a 2v2 and we're doing good I'm trying to get another shot on this wraith but she throws a nade at me and luckily our horizon was able to get this mirage too but right here our horizon did a really bad move uh she ends up pushing this wraith but she never armored or like fixed her heels or anything so she ends up getting dropped like immediately when she fights her So, okay, so we were able to get her, and then right there, a horizon goes down. And one thing I learned from watching this VOD is just understanding, I guess, like the tempo of fights and understanding when I have time to like focus on my inventory. Because right now, I have no more car ammunition, and I'm gonna try to pick up that right there. So, that's about what 50 and 20, so that's about 70 like bullets right there. And I mean, my, my aim is not the greatest, you're going to see here, and if she was better, she would be able to get me, right? So for sure, focusing on my inventory when I get the chance. So right here, I just like wasted a whole mag, and I didn't get any hits. So I know she has a shotgun, so I'm trying to play a little bit more safe because I do have a car. Um... And then right here, I hear her climb to the roof. She could have peeked this and get me. And uh, also one important thing is like re reminding myself to slow down my fights because armor swapping is a very important thing. But when, when you have the opportunity, because right now I know it's a 1v1, I was like, okay, this is my chance to like bat up and just try to like re-engage and reset the, the whole fight. But I pushed up over here. Right there, I should have looted her body just real quick, just in case, like I said, I could get more ammo, I could get more bats or something to help me fight this fight. Um, and then another thing is map knowledge. So like I said before, I have not played Storm Point a lot, and I didn't realize that I have to actually like jump on this door to get to the roof. But luckily, I wasn't punished for that, but other players would have definitely punished me if they were smarter. But right here, I was able to get a nice crack, so I know I have to play aggressive. Um, she decided to support for some reason, and right now I have a hundred heavy fall down these shots. I don't, I was hoping to get these shots, but I don't think I should have done this. I think I should have just fell down and like kept an eye of where she is, but, but I was hoping it just kind of hit her because she was so low already. But then like right there, I, I wasted a whole mag. I wasted a whole mag and I didn't even hit her. Um, and then right here, I try to switch over to the triple take to get like a cheeky little hip fire kill, but it was not freaking working, man. And then I waited it out, get some nice hip fire shots on here because I know she had the PK and I just had to play some distance and I was able to get that kill and we got four out of that nice little fight. So that's, that's one thing. All right. So, so, well, that's one fight that would just happen. So what we learn is just kind of understanding more map knowledge. Of course, that's going to come with time and I'm new to Apex. So it's going to take me a while, especially with these maps rotating. Um, another really important thing is understanding the tempo of fights. Like I said, I think we did really good um, engaging fights and kind of like waiting for our t waiting to get knocks or like cracks on our enemies. And then um, also we, we did like armor swap pretty well, I feel like throughout that whole fight. Um, I don't think we did any bad like armor swapping because we were able to survive there a little bit. Um, but the the most important thing I feel like from watching this VOD review of my own fight is just understanding ammo inventory management, especially in the middle of fights and like knowing the tempo of the fights and like understanding when I have the opportunity to actually grab ammo and like do more than just armor swap. Because 
right now I'm just doing armor swaps because I'm like panicking and not understanding how the tempo of fights are working. But let's go ahead and go to the next part of this match where I end up dying, but it's like pretty hectic of what happened. All right, so here is the second engagement we had in this match. And there was like, I think three squads here and then a fourth came to third party or fourth party, whatever you want to call it. But this showing, I'm just like going over this because two squads at least. We were able to get some good damage on other people. But I think what I need to understand is just kind of how to like reset the fight. Uh, there was also a really questionable res here. But we can also learn from our enemies we're fighting. So right here, we got a nice pick on this Octane. And he's doing like a wiggle peek or not wiggle peek, but wiggle inventory swapping thing, whatever you want to call it. But what we can learn from this Octane right here is that next time I'm or you are doing an inventory swap or whatever to just move more if you're on PC, of course, uh, instead of just like doing short wiggles like this, because he was still regular, like relatively easy target right there. Even if I had like a R3, he would have definitely died. And then here we're trying to crack this guy right here which we were able to do and then she ends up going flying um so let's go back just a tad bit so there's one squad on her left this bottom rock there's this guy right here and her her horizon on her right and then there's one across the river on this left hand side that our teammate pinged so right now there's three squads that we're fighting so we're just trying to do some i was just trying to do some damage from far away because i have a triple take but then what ended up happening was our horizon gets knocked on top of this rock which is not bad um i decided to ulti there just because i wanted to get some spacing away like from the enemies from pushing us um and hopefully get this horizon to get up oh painless knocking at the door so she marked these guys right here beautiful bloodhound scan from our teammate so we know there's two guys down here and there's like another two squads on our right. So ideally right here, I was trying to see if I get a few cracks on this guys and like d debate if we want to push or not. Um, usually I try not to res anyone right away just because I know it's a little dangerous. But wasn't able to get anybody with the arch star. Trying to get some shots down in this lifeline. But our bloodhound pushed right here, right? So our bloodhound just like earlier in the match he decides to push without any cracks or anything so she he's just like totally pushing it which is totally fine too but we definitely want to see if we get a crack first and our bloodhound of course is going to go down i'm just trying to throw some smokes down just for some more chaos i did see that arc star so i'm guessing these guys might know where we are and want to push us uh we do see this horizon or whatever in this top right corner and then that that bloodhound scan was able to give us his uh mark on this horizon as well so right here what i was trying to do was just make sure that no one was exactly going to push us because i want i want people to know that this rock is not safe just in case i might be able to res this horizon which i was able to do those shots were bad and i like i said i was just trying to like make sure people know we're there but i went for this res and i think maybe in other times it wouldn't be a good idea but somehow we're able to get off because if that horizon if that horizon knew that i had a knock like knock teammate there for sure she would have pushed but just because of the pure chaos we we're able to get that off and then our bloodhound is like super low on this bottom side he ends up getting knocked i go down this way of course i see this lifeline on our left here um and was able to get some shots here my shots are bad but I was able to kill her right here. Um, I do see this armor swap, but I did remember that earlier we were finding this lifeline and she dropped this uh, care package. So I know that's gonna be a broken armor. But I'm trying to just get another armor on the floor just in case anything else like crazy happens. Right here, the other team pushes me. And right there, I was able to get that stupid hip fire shot with this triple take. What I was trying to do with that Wraith in that other fight. But luckily this time it works out. I move over for this broken armor. Like I said, I already knew it was broken, but it's better than no armor. Move over this way. And then right here, somehow, some this like team got their size, I guess. And then here's this rave. So luckily we're able to get one mag on this rave and just kind of move out. Um, 
right here we're just kind of like reassessing what's going on our bloodhound is still like he got thirsted our horizon's watching above um right now i have no smokes as well so i'm just kind of like going around and i didn't realize there was another team that end up coming to th like attack us but thank goodness for uh bangalore is passive to do the moving speed so i was able to like get the hell out of here and maggie was able to do her ulti over here too so we were able to move um but me moving this way put me in a really weird situation because there's actually one team here and one more team on our right on the other side of this rock like fighting each other so now i'm like squished in between these two squads right here Was, was able to get a nice crack right here we had one q all right one q and then we have uh, a team over here pushing our horizon so we're kind of in a very bad situation and we want to be able to reset and into that i just kind of mad here and i'm thinking to myself okay like i need to reset this like where am i gonna go am i gonna run backwards to like two teams or am i gonna push up against this team that's fighting my horizon um of course you guys know I, I did the bad decision, which is like just turn around and fight the other guys. Because uh, like even here, our teammates telling us we might want to back off, which is true. I think in hindsight, maybe I could have pushed towards this rock and then maybe across the river. But there's like no cover there as well. And then right here, I, I was just an idiot. I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to press W and push. And then of course, I get beaten by this guy and the other team. No! And I get knocked and essentially thirst. But what I was also kind of thinking was, I didn't, I wasn't too sure if these guys were one team or not. Uh, I was kind of begging for my life here, but they ended up killing me anyways. But I think what we could learn from watching this part of the VOD review was we were able to, okay, one, if we're like doing our inventory thing, right? And you're on PC, you want to be able to move, I guess, longer left and right instead of just like wiggling really quick and then the other thing is just understanding when to reset fights uh maybe i could have possibly reset earlier instead of having to run across the uh the water or maybe even like run to the water and then when i was batting where was i okay so right here we get thirded right we're running over this way and then there's one team on my left there one team on my right and then I got stuck on this stupid root system. And um, so right there. Okay. So we got shot at. I was trying to find a good spot to just kind of like med kit. Just to make sure that if I lose my armor, I'm okay. What I should have done here. I think the best move was to climb up and go towards my horizon. So climb up on this waterfall and actually like rotate towards her. Climb up this way, try to go through the, through the smoke that I just used and kind of like run towards her or something. That could have been the best choice or even maybe like running down this way. I don't know about running down under the waterfall here because the enemy team is already pushing my horizon. They're going to have high ground, a better position. Um, but who knows? Maybe I could have done nothing to like do better here. But I, if anything, I think just like knowing when to reset, especially in this particular moment right here, just kind of hop over this thing, go back to my horizon. That, that would have been my best choice. But I got thirsty and I was like, well, I'm going to try to get one kill anyways and, you know, see how that goes. And of course, I didn't get one kill because my dumb ass was just running with my fist and then I get knocked by this revenant or whatever. But I hope you guys learned something. Um, I'm going to do more VOD reviews of my own gameplay to see what I can learn and kind of how to improve. So what we learned today was basically just, you know, like no, no know when to reset fights, right? Which is one of them from watching this last VOD review. Um, understanding to make sure that you don't like A and D while you're looting. No. Uh, make sure you A and D longer, I guess, instead of just quickly wiggling. And then from the last VOD review, just um, making sure you know the tempo of certain fights, know when you can actually loot and like get more armor or more ammo instead of just doing the armor swap. So I think those are three important things we learned, yeah. But if you guys like this video, do me a favor, smash that like button. Comment down below if you guys got any tips for me as well. Because like I said, I'm new to Apex, still trying to learn and figure out this damn game. Um, if you guys want to see more, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I'll do more VOD reviews for you guys to see my shitty gameplay. But I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Apex, whatever the hell you're playing. Peace.